Martinsville, Virginia, and surrounding areas. This is a thing I am calling it right now. There will be a COVID outbreak in the Martinsville, Virginia, and surrounding areas somewhere between um, October 20th and 29th or so. The reason for this is, and I'll read it to you, the Virginia Museum of Natural History, Museum to Require COVID-19 Vaccination or Negative COVID-19 Test Result to Attend Dragon Festival for Ages 12 and Older. And the test must be a PCR test, no at-home tests, no antibody tests. Um, they're not going to let anybody in that isn't either showing a vax card or showing a negative test within the past three days. Now... Why is this going to be a super spreader event? Why am I calling it right now? Today is um, October 5th, so we're not quite there yet. But why is this going to be a super spreader event? Because if you get a bunch of people who think that they're safe together into a place like a museum, into a smaller space, and everybody there thinks, oh, Everybody here is required to be vaccinated, so they're not going to be spreading the disease. Oh, and if they're not vaccinated, then they've been tested, and they definitely, you know, they've been tested, they don't have the disease, so there's nobody here, nobody's allowed here that could possibly spread COVID. So we're going to be totally fine, so, you know, um, and if you dig, you find out that masks are highly recommended but not required, um, but here's the thing, uh, besides the fact that my nose is itching like crazy... If you think about this a little deeper, this is going to be a super spreader event. Now, why? How is it possible that if everyone's vaccinated and if you have 72 hours worth of, you know, PCR tests within 72 hours, how is it possible if everybody there is clean that they could possibly have a super spreader event of COVID at the Virginia Museum of Natural History October 15th and 16th at the Dragon Festival? Well, dear viewer, I shall tell you. Because the vaccinated still spread the disease. And in fact, this is not something you have to trust me on. See, if you look at the current science and the current authorities on the science, they will tell you, the CDC themselves will tell you, that the vaccinated still can spread the disease. Not only that, but studies show that the vaccinated still have a similar viral load present in the respiratory tracts to the unvaccinated. However, remember, originally we thought COVID-19's vaccines were just, you know, immunity. End of story. But it's not that simple. See, they have been downgraded to symptom mitigator. So the vaccines, by the science, by the CDC's own admission, the vaccines do not prevent the spread of the disease. They prevent you from getting it and from getting it worse. If you do get it, it's supposed to not be as bad. This is what the CDC says. Not me. This is the science. These are the authorities that you trust. But wait, there's more. A PCR test does not guarantee that someone won't spread the disease. But how is that possible? How is it possible that a negative PCR test means that somebody how would they still spread it if they come up negative? Well, first of all, the tests aren't 100% accurate. We know this. They have a high degree of accuracy, but there's margin of error there. But then, 72 hours is plenty of time for someone to get exposed to COVID in the meantime. There is a big chunk of time there. And, you know, if they had the test like the day before, maybe it's a little bit less. But we're still talking about the fact that there are these margins in which they can get it. So... The fact the test is not remotely perfect, it does have its inaccuracies, uh, false positives, false negatives, uh, plus the margin in which people can get infected after, before the event actually takes place. I mean, they're not exactly swabbing and testing your nose at the door. So even if someone has a PCR test, they could still spread it. But wait, there's more. The vaccinated don't have to have a PCR test. So because the science, the authorities say that... They don't have to have a PCR test, but they could still spread it. Do the math, dude. Do the math. 
So, uh, this video is primarily because I'm calling it. Now, I will read my comment that I left on their post with their virtue signaling nonsense because I think my comment says it all. Um, it was a little strong, but I feel like it's... it's so, this has got to stop. Somebody has to put a foot down and say, look, this is getting really stupid. You ha you don't read the science. You haven't read beyond the abstract in the studies. If you've even looked at the studies, you just heard fourth hand from some other person what to do. And you said, oh, I'm going to do that and show people that I'm a good person. It's called virtue signaling. It doesn't do anything to make you a good person. And well, let me just read my comment. It is not the job, and this is what I think about every single one of these COVID policies that businesses lay out and that businesses are forced to lay out by the government. It is not the job of businesses to protect people or force them to make medical decisions. You aren't a doctor. You aren't paying for the PCR tests. You don't know each individual's medical history or needs. Let's be honest, though. You don't care. But you have no idea what you're doing. No, I read too far ahead. This policy is you trying to show off to others that you care, but you have no idea what you're doing. You know that people can transmit COVID-19 even with a negative PCR test, right? They don't exist to determine if you can attend a museum. They exist to try to detect evidence of a somewhat recent COVID-19 infection. What you're really doing is putting people at higher risk of COVID-19 infection because your security theater nonsense will make them feel like they're safe. So out the door goes social distancing and masks and not coughing in each other's mouths. Because we're the good and the smart and the clean ones. The museum opened themselves up to legal liability for our medical bills by saying so. I hope you have good lawyers. And that's the last thing I want to cover in this before I go. I'm calling it right now and... Have any of these businesses, have they considered that if they put all of these strict requirements in place, you must have a vaccine or a, a recent PCR test for, to, to attend or whatever. Have you considered that by putting these checks in place, these extremely strict checks, that you are effectively attempting to guarantee no one gets infected? So if someone gets infected anyway, you might be open to liability. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the case law behind this, but I know the principle behind it. If you basically assure people that they won't get infected by coming, and they get infected when they come, which, given the way this is set up, people will be lax in their security. They will not stay away from other people. They will not, some of them may not bother masking because it's optional. They will not take precautions. They'll just, you know, why cough in your elbow, everybody? Here's clean inevitably when there's a big breakout of this infection in the Martinsville, Virginia and surrounding areas, you know, maybe some of you should sue the museum. I'm just saying, you know, since they assured you that you wouldn't get infected, pay my medical bills, boy. Maybe they haven't thought about that. And maybe that's the answer to these stupid policies. Gotta hit them in the pocketbook, because that's the problem. This museum that's assuring you, oh, you won't get infected if you come here to our event, we'll make sure that you stay safe, because for some reason, even though nobody asked us to, we've decided it's our job to make sure that people are safe. Even though it's not our job, you know, maybe they should pay up, because they're ensuring your safety and they're failing to do so, and you got sick and you have to pay bills as a result of their negligence. Yes, negligence. That's all for tonight, today, whenever you're watching this. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look down at the bottom for links to support me. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful whatever time of day it is. And, uh, and remember to go look, you know, sometime later in October and see if there was a super spreader event in the Martinsville, Virginia, and surrounding areas in the United States. And laugh with me when, inevitably, I can almost guarantee you there is one. Thanks, Virginia Museum of Natural History in Martinsville, Virginia. Take care. Bye-bye.